It's time for The Family Feud. Introducing the Johnson family, Wendy, Heidi, Gretchen, June, and Bob, ready for action. And the Smith family, Bill, Elsie, Janet, Sue, and John. On your marks, let's start The Family Feud. And now, here is the star of The Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Good to have Dallas back with us, isn't it? It looks so nice. So do you, as a matter of fact. Help me welcome the champs, the Johnson family. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. How are you doing? Fine, Richard. How are you? I can't complain. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> How much money do you want? $6,858. Hey. Hey. This is my sister Heidi. Hi. Hello, Heidi. My other sister Gretchen. Hello. Hello, Gretchen. My mother June. Hi, Richard. Mama. Uh -huh. And my father Bob. Hi, Richard. Lupita. Very nice to have you. Got to meet the Wild West show over oh, here. Oh, yeah. sounds good. Make them feel at home. The Smiths are in town. How are you, Bill? Nice to have you. Thank you, Bill. Looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Let me meet everybody. My wife. The bright one in the family, retired school teacher, yeah. Elsie. Nice to have you here, Don. Thank you. Then the cowgirl in the crowd. Yeah. She's the former brawly cattle call queen, granddaughter, oh. Janet. Hello, Hi, Richard. Janet. Nice my daughter, Sue. Sue. So. Hi, Richard. And my son-in-law, John. Now, Janet, you won a, what did you win, a Miss Brawly what? It, I was the Brawley Cattle Call Rodeo Queen. I represent the whole Imperial Valley. Well, now, did you call the cattle? <laughs> they called me a few times, but well, no, I tried I mean, to keep that, on You said the Cattle Call Queen, didn't you? Yeah, that was just a name that was given. Oh, you didn't to have it. to go like, Sue, no, that's for a pig. No, that's no. a pig. <laughs> pig. Yeah. I'm calling the wrong people. Here. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't know if you called uh, cattle. No. No. I just chased cowboys. Do you? Yeah. Eddie, get my Stetson out of me. Now, what do you got here, Jim? This is a belt buckle oh, boy. commemorating the Brawley Cattle Call Rodeo. This is the 25th anniversary. This is this year. Let me show Is this for me? That is for you. Thank you very much. And this is November 7th and 8th of this year. Of this year? This if year. I walked up here, they'd... Uh... And uh, we expect to see you down here. Yeah, if I was wearing this, I'd... Probably they treat oh, me well, wouldn't well, sure they? Sure they would. You bet. Yeah. I, Thank yeah. you. All I need, oh, all I need is a bit of leather. Well, yeah. You can. It's easy to come by. Or maybe I'll just staple it. Yeah, we'll it. staple it on. Oh, sure. Hey, thank you, Jim. That's all right. Come on, let's play the feud. Let's go. Come on, little Wendy. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. You've got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name a phrase that takes courage to say. Bill? Damn it. <laughs> I would have bet money he was going to say, I swear to you. I know I'm going to have the courage to repeat it. Bill, damn it. Yeah. A phrase it takes courage to say. I'm sorry you have to leave. Al de parte. Yeah. Okay. What are you gonna do? Play or pass? We're gonna pass. Okay, well I get to meet the rodeo people. Here. Rodeo? Rodeo? Yeah, rodeo. How gorgeous you look. Nice thank to have you. you. Here. Thank and you. I love the color of your hat. Oh, thank you. Phrase that takes courage to say. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you been at the moonshine this group? <laughs> uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Phrase it takes courage to say. 
How about I hate you? Okay, let's take a look. I hate you. <laughs> Not there. Pretty soon. My darling, you got two strengths. I ain't got a lot of answers up there now. A phrase it takes courage to say. How about I love you? Okay, darling. I think that's good. If it's there, okay. And if not, third strike. But I think that needs courage, doesn't it? I love you. Well done, sir. Big bad John, now. Nice to see you. What do you think would uh, take courage to say, Jim? Help. Help? There's another good one. Yeah. Help if it's there, okay. If not, third strike. Help! Nope. $71 for the Johnsons if they give me the right answer. Okay, okay. Well? To say I admit that I was wrong. It's another good, very good answer. Okay. Yeah. I was wrong. If it's there, darling, you get the $71. If not, Bill and his family get it. I was wrong. I do. I don't that. Well, the wedding, at the wedding. Uh, yeah, you're, you're thinking of a different question, I think, Bill. <laughs> Number five. Oh. Okay, another thing is to go up to uh, a great big football player, about eight feet tall, and say, you don't look so tough to me. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Then. 100 people surveyed top six answers are on the board here's the question name something one person does that might aggravate everyone else in the room yeah um burp <laughs> um burp Don't, don't aggravate everybody in the room. Uh, Elsie, you know, something one person does that might aggravate everyone else in the room. Smoke. Smoke! Yeah, Number one answer. Are you going to call that fast? Call it over. Hey, hey, hey. Richard, we'll play. Bye-bye. I'm proud of you, Elsie. When this program comes out, you'll be uh, nominated for sheriff immediately. <laughs> Something one person does that might aggravate everyone else in the room. How about bite their nails? Bite their nails? Bite their nails. Good answer, Janet. Good answer. And the whole room stands up and says, that does it. Bite your nail? Now, I think if you bite somebody else's nail, that might aggravate everyone in the room. What do you think one person might do? Richard, I'm going to say, change the television channel. That's a good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I know in prison that ag aggravates everybody in the room. Change the TV. <laughs> Not there. That's a good answer, Amy. Yeah. Come on, Amy. Talk loud. Talk loud. All right. Because they are okay if not third strike. Talk loud. Well, Bill, what do you think, sir? Something that one person does that might aggravate everyone else in the room. Well, that's a good one, you know. Well, yeah, yeah. we're happy with it, yeah. Bill. <laughs> that's a good answer. A good question. Good, yeah, we have the question. Yeah, fine. The answer answer we're, yeah, that's the answer is what we're looking for. <laughs> TV. Yeah, bite nails and change TV. They didn't make it. Walk in front of people. Walk in front of yeah, people? Yeah, while they're watching TV. That's me. All right. <laughs> Walk in front of people. Boy, oh boy. The whole room's in a... Bill just said I wouldn't give you a nickel for that answer. <laughs> Walk in front of someone. You were right there, Bill. $59 up here. Yours will give me the right answer. Cracking knuckles or try that. Try it. Cracking knuckles cracking or popping gum. Uh, cracking knuckles. Okay. okay. Cracking knuckles. There, you get the fifty-nine dollars. All the money in the game. If not, Bill's gonna get the money. Knuckle cracking. <laughs> Six. Off? 
Well, I hope I didn't aggravate all of you. We'll be back right after that. The follow All the money here, $130, nothing for our lonesome cowboy. Come on, Jerry. How are you? Fine. Okay. A little cowgirl. How old are you? 19. You're as pretty as a picture. Thank you. How old are you? 25. <laughs> And you're also as pretty as a picture. Thank you. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. The question is, name a kind of snake. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake? You got it. We're going to play, Richard. Rattlesnake or Sidewinder. I love a Gabby Hayes always would say that, wouldn't he? That old coyote is a sidewinder. Is he gone now? Is he in the big uh, corral in the sky? I bet he is. He's up there uh, telling St. Peter off. You sidewinder. <laughs> kind of snake. Richard, I'm going to say a python. Oh, yeah. Sidewinder python. <laughs> you sidewinders. <laughs> huh? What a cobra. They're all sidewinders to me. Cobra! You know Gabby Hayes, don't you there? Sure. Yeah, we're about, those... we're about the same age. Gabby yeah. Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. Who did he work with a lot? He was oh, in, uh, he was with Gene John, Autry. Gene Autry, yeah, John Wayne, John Hopalong Wayne, Castle. Hopalong, yeah. yeah. He never spoke real language. He said occasionally you would hear sidewinder and... Uh, <laughs> Never could understand, but you knew he was upset about things. You know, I think you need to come to Brawley. Really? Yeah, we're, we're ready for you. You bet. You old sidewinder. Yeah. <laughs> See, I got a feeling he could do it. I'm trying to get him to do Say it for me. Do Gabby Hayes for me. I can't do yes, Kirk can't do Gabby Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Try now, say. I don't know how to do it, Gabby. Well, sidewinder. Well, well, you got to take your teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, dear. We'll go out with that pie. Kind of snake there, Bill. Bull snake. Bull, 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 bull snake. snake. Uh, oh, I heard about them once in Taiwan. A uh, bull snake. <laughs> oh, I never heard of that. I don't like the look of things. Yeah, I'll see my uh, Garter snake. Yeah, yeah. How often them they those guys? The carters. <clears throat> Carter Snake! Yeah! Hey, man. Well? I can only think of one. How about a gopher snake? Yeah. Gopher yeah. snake? Yeah. Yeah. Gopher. A couple of snakes for us, what do you say? <laughs> you want yours grilled? <laughs> a grilled sideline there. All righty, if a gopher snake's there, okay. If not, third strike, and Johnson's getting ready to steal. Gopher Snake! <laughs> no. Enormous lead for you. Boa constrictor. Yes. What? Boa constrictor. Yes, yes that's it. Yeah. Yeah. They cuddle you a lot. They do, yeah. They keep cuddling until you uh, crack in the middle. If it's there, you've got an enormous lead in the game. If not, Bill and his family get to 162. A boa constrictor. Yes. Four. 292, still nothing. Pretty soon. Come on. And the down that side, all right? Say hello to you. How you doing? Just fine, thank you. Okay. Dollar values are doubled. You've got to get in this game. I know right. it. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a kind of machine where people check the coin return slot. Yes. It will be a Coke machine. A Coke? Machine. One answer will beat that. Cigarette machine. Do you have a cigarette machine? You got it? Are you going to play or pass? Do you want to play? We're going to play, Richard. We're going to play, Play. <laughs> well done. <honey. laughs> kind of machine where people check the coin return slot. A pay telephone. John is quiet, but he's good. Telephone? Well, 
Okay. Bosch. What did you say, Bill? No. I had a machine where sidewinders check the coin return slot. Bull snakes. Got I just can't believe that. I can't believe that. He's working on bull snakes. All right, we're, we're, we'll come up to right, candy you... machines. Candy? Candy. candy? All right. Candy's there, you got it all. Candy? Four. Let's go. Oh, my Here we go. Here's a dollar values are tripled. This will decide it. 100 people surveyed. Top three answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a jewel people buy imitations of. Sir. Diamond. Diamond for John. You got it. What are you going to do? Play. 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 A jewel people buy imitations of, Bill. I got jewel. three seconds. Well, I know three seconds. Yes, you count yes. hard. What? You count hard. Come on. Watch it. Uh, Watch. It's a jewel. A I'll, jewel? I'll see if it's up there. Watch. No, it's not. Watch. <laughs> a jewel people buy imitations of. Emeralds. Okay, darling. Emerald. Alpha Center Emerald. That's oh. right, man. Yeah. Okay. The jewel people buy imitations of. How about rubies? Let's see. If rubies, they're okay. If not, they're right. Ruby? Whoa. You keep your title right now if you give me the right answer. If not, the new chance of Paul the Smith. Yeah, got it. Pearl. 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 Yeah. Pearl sounds like a winner. If it's there, you keep your title. Play for the money one more time. If not, you got it, but it sounds good. Pearl! was exciting because I I must tell you I thought that was gonna be so easy emerald ruby I thought boom yeah, we're gonna those. a little sidewinder <laughs> where's that bull snake no listen you didn't get shut out that's the main that, thing you got a hundred and ninety four dollars that's all right so you can sit around the campfire and have a couple of drinks with that right sure got well, some nice prizes yeah. for yeah. you, you thank you for being it's here it's a pleasure to you're be nice here. people no kid. thank Enjoy. you thank you man thank you for the thank you Thank you, John. Thank you. Let me guess. Wendy Gretchen are going for the money right after we watch this. Fan. First time here? Yes. You're going to do well. Thank you. 15 seconds, please. Name a month when you're never sure what the temperature will be. September. Something little kids ask their parents for. Money. A food you eat whipped. Cream. The hour most alarm clocks are set for. 8 a.m. A brand of cake mix. Pillsbury. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Name a month when you're never sure what the temperature will be. September. Survey said. Six. Something little kids ask their parents for. Mounet. Survey said. 32. <laughs> the food you eat with, you said cream. I eat that when I'm slogged, but not when I'm whipped. <laughs> Survey set? <laughs> 45. Well, Mr. Long, clock star set four. You said eight. Survey set? <laughs> Two. Brand of cake mix. You said Pillsbury. Survey set? <laughs> that's okay. good. That's halfway. <laughs> right, look at that. Look at the collection. Come on, Angel. Please remind everyone the answers Wendy gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name a month when you're never sure what the temperature will be. May. Something little kids ask their parents for. Their dinner. A food you eat whipped. Potatoes. The hour most alarm clocks are set for. 7 a.m. A brand of cake mix. Duncan Hines. Very good. Turn around. Okay. Tonight, you're never sure what the temperature will be. May. Survey set. Nine March, number one answer. And then something little kids ask their parents for. Is it dinner? Okay. Survey said. Oh. Money was number one. I think like bicycle and things oh, like yes. that, and toys. Yes. And a house of their own. <laughs> Food you eat whipped, you said. 
Dato's number one answer survey said... 48 to the The hour most alarm clocks are set for. You said... 7 a.m. You need 45 points. Survey said... 35. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. was the uh, number one time. So, Wendy, when you wake up, you know you're two hours late. With your time <laughs> Brand the cake mix, you said... Duncan Hines. You need 10 points for $5,000, and the survey said... Bam. Oh! <laughs> we'll be back right after this. More of your favorite games are coming up next with the whimsical wordplay of Match Game. First the 70s version, followed by the 90s. Then it's Press Your Luck. I usually draw the big heads and the little bodies, but one of them already had a big head and a little body. I ask you a question? Yeah, who won the 1998 Daytona 500? I said Bobby Labonte. Wrong. Came in second. And they threw that pizza dough in your face? Took all your money? Yeah, but they sat for a portrait. That's the whammy, all right. You're good. Hey, how about drawing the two of us in a speedboat? Kind of a Crockett and Tubbs Miami Vice thing. I don't know how to draw a speedboat. That's yeah, just like a banana, but hollowed out. Watch out. It's back. Whammy, the all-new Press Your Luck. Premiering April 15th, only on Game Show Network. Turn to the left. See you here on the field. Bye-bye. Some departing contestants receive light badge. The manicure is said, mild pamala dishwashing liquid softens hands while you do dishes and pala them with loads of thick, long-lasting suds. The Presto Fried Eddie Deep Fryer, the family size, easy fry, easy to use, easy to clean, easy to store, the Presto Fried Daddy Deep Fryer. For the millions of men who enjoy comfortable Hager Expandomatic slacks, the new Hager Expandomatic denim jean slacks will make you feel as good as you look. And for 200 nights of no dishwashing, it's Diamond Deluxe Plate, the two-ply disposal paper plate that makes a great dish recommended for microwave use. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking for the Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Pyson production.